So here we are early on Monday morning and we've got uh, a 30 mile drive, haven't we? Ooh, yes we have, yep. To Nuneaton. Nuneaton, yes. uh, yeah. the boatyard. The onboard energy people yes. that are going to be fitting all that lovely new Victron kit and the lithium battery and also uh, Victron. <coughs> so it'll all match. Um, <coughs> We're, we're somewhat excited and a, and a little bit sort of uh, trepidatious, I think. Um, always when work's been done on always, your home, it always, makes you yeah. nervous, doesn't it? Yes, it excited, does. Excited, but just hoping it, you're really pleased with so it. So we're due yes. over there about half eight, so it's just after seven now. Um, so we're leaving ourselves plenty of time. We're going to leave in a minute and get on our way. So... Um, I think Pippin will be sorry to go. She's had the whole rugby field to she herself. Has, yeah. So enjoyed running and running. Yeah. yeah. And we've got yeah. it's nice we've got a here. whole day to be outside the van. Lucky yeah. it's going to be. I think it's going to be a lovely day today. You. Well, <coughs> it's by the canal, so it well, we will get, be lovely. Well, especially we'll, when the sun shines. Yes. We might get the bikes out actually mm. and ride along the canal mm. path. <gasps> yeah. Mm. <laughs> well, here we are at Onboard Energy, and. Uh, we're parked over this way and a uh, little bit downhill, but we can uh, we can pop some ramps just underneath the front wheels just to prop it up a bit if we need to. But we've got a lovely canal down here. And of course, the uh, marina where all the boats are parked because um, we are actually in a, a narrowboat marina and uh, Wendy's down there walking, walking Pippin along there. And I think we can probably find a, a path to go along over, over, over the other side, I think. I might have to walk across that bridge, maybe. So here's uh, a box of, box of tricks, as it were. All the stuff in here, battery monitor, the MPP controller, the battery monitor, uh, battery management system, and uh, that grey uh, brown box there is the um, the little feet that will fit the solar panel to the top, fuses and connectors and all sorts of stuff, little bits and pieces, and then um, yet to come into the van is the Victron Multi Plus. This is the uh, box it's in. It's um, well, it's a multi plus. It's uh, a an inverter and a charger and a the electrical ampage leveler, if you like. So if you've got, if you are plugged into uh, electric hookup or shore power, as they call it around here, um, and your you're on a low ampage hookup. That little beauty will um, ramp up the ampage, pulling power from the batteries up to a max. I think it's 30 amps. So um, you won't get that. Well, you wouldn't get that trip out that you would. Uh, so if you're on a say a five amp uh, hookup then that will actually not push all of that ampage back to that 5 amp um, it will just deal with it through the batteries and, and stuff up to 30 amps up that's the way I understand it so you wouldn't trip the post um, clearly if you go too far something's going to give um, and of course if you're using a lot of ampage and you're connected on hookup um, the batteries are going to deplete aren't they I'm sure um, I'm no electrical expert, but I think that's probably the way it's going to work. But look what a beautiful day uh, we've got. And we've got all this lovely scenery to sit around in. Um, probably going to get the bikes out. The, the, um, the canal towpath is on the other side. So I think what we're going to have to do is go... There's a little bridge um, over this way. Just over there, there's a little bridge, uh, yeah, and uh, I think we're going to have to go 
out of the site here down to the bridge and then across to get onto the towpath to the other side but uh, yeah so it's all going to be very exciting this is the 200 amp hour battery it's blooming huge i didn't realize it was going to be that big but uh, there it is it takes up half the space of the uh, locker here on the under this is underneath the um the lounge seat you know see it's well it's enormous i was really surprised when i saw that and we've got the uh, inverter just coming in and that's actually i think the inverter is smaller than the battery <laughs> so. just going to go there like that so we're up on the roof uh, and thinking about the solar panel and the space that the solar panel should go is right here and um, when I measured the gap I measured for the I got the solar panel size and uh, luckily enough the solar panel would fit between that which is the toilet roof light and this bit here which is the wind deflector for the bedroom roof roof light however um, the problem is that there are some There are some brackets that the solar panel uses to get itself fixed on um, and there actually there's a, a bracket for each corner and then um, similar bracket for the sort of midsection of the panel. Um, I think the uh, the guy that's fitting it is taking them away, but um, they're sort of rounded edge uh, shaped, and uh, what that means is that uh, the space up there is not really big enough if we leave that wind deflector on. However, the wind deflector is. By the time you get the solar panel on, it's only about that much bigger than the um, than the solar panel. So, what I'm thinking of doing it well, what we're going to do is take the wind deflector off, and if necessary, just reattach and just cut it. So it, it it's sort of it's a, there's a flat base to it and a and a curved section. So I'm going to cut that curved section off. And then maybe attach that to the side of the um, uh, of the solar panel, so that it gives us that wind deflection if we need it. So we're nearing the completion of the um, lithium battery, the Victron inverter charger, and all the solar panel stuff and the new charge controllers, and um, the <laughs> what what we've got in. Uh, you know we've got the sergeant control unit but what I've done is I've put right where well, the guys have put right next to it the um, BMV 712 battery monitor which is uh, actually telling me at the moment where are we uh, 83 watts we're getting off the off the solar panels we're getting um, six and a half amps coming in uh, over and above whatever we're taking out of the batteries or the the battery so um, we've got one or two bits and pieces plugged in um, so we're taking a little bit out but we're getting um, yeah 6.4 6.4 6 6.38 something like that so almost six and a half amps uh, of charge actually putting power back into the battery um, 
over and above what we're taking out. Now we've got um, we've got two solar charge controllers because on the back of um, the sergeant control unit there's uh, there was a um, an MPW uh, charge controller for the 100 amp solar panel that's just above the roof there but that is that was all connected up to the sort of smart charging sort of stuff um, where it would it would just charge the battery if it f felt like it it would always push charge into the battery and there's a, there was a danger that if we left that in it would push charge into the lithium battery um, when it wasn't really necessary and that can damage them or even um, be more drastic uh, so like catching fire and stuff like that if you overcharge you definitely damage them so um, we've taken it out and we've replaced it with this uh, 7510 uh, charge controller we've taken if you can see just there we've taken the original wires from the solar panel at the top uh, out from the back of there and put them into the PV or the photovoltaic input the solar panel input two two wires out going back to the battery so we've got this new uh, 7515 charge controller um, with the wires coming from the new solar panel and going back out to the battery same as the other one um, they work in conjunction uh, so but you can see them separately and you can see that this this one the 200 watt puts in twice as much uh, ampage as this 100 watt obviously um, now uh, you'll see that the uh, the battery monitor there this is a BMV uh, 712 smart so it has Bluetooth and we've got six amps just dropping down. Oh, right. Ah, I know why. Ha, huh. that's dropping down because I have this plugged in to there. And that is, uh, that's pulling um, probably, yeah, that's pulling out one amp. Uh, but I'm still getting that uh, six amps going in now down here we're not completely finished this yet but i'll just go run through what we have got we've got the 200 amp hour lithium battery uh, this is the victron uh, i think it's the blue power uh, smart um, battery uh, well actually it's no it's got the um it's not the smart because it's got a battery uh, monitoring system just in the back there with the lights on so that that helps us to know what the battery is doing individually if it had nothing else we've got um, some other um, bits of control I think that's a battery protect there um, so that protects the battery uh, or no uh, no no sorry that's a that's a little uh, control unit I think <laughs> not quite sure what everything is yet um, this bit here is the um, sterling battery to battery charger not completely connected yet because we've got to do the the setup on that um, there's the master switch which will cut off um, all of the all of the system from the battery and then there's some fuses here that's that's just the cover for the sterling there's some fuses here the uh, shunt which um, that sits between all of the negative uh, elements coming back and the battery negative wire coming back here and is uh, connected via this RJ45 or network cable back up to the battery monitor near the sergeant unit so this uh, this bit here uh, is the inverter charger it's the Victron multi plus uh, 12 3000 120 so um, I believe that will give me uh, that's a three three kilowatt uh, inverter and I um, and I think it will put out a maximum of 120 amps 
so uh, we we're running all of our electrical sockets from that now I can um, it is a battery charger as well so if I if I do ever plug into the um, electric hookup or shoreline as they call them in marinas which is where we are that will that will take all of that and push it uh, push a charge back into the battery if it's needed um, but that's what that is for while we're driving along that will charge the battery and also the solar panels as you see it's, it's still getting just over six amps so that's a quick run through of what's inside but let's take you up to the roof and show you the new solar panel so this is the uh, Victron um, uh, 200 watt 24 volt solar panel and that's uh, that's just a little bit of it because it goes all the way across so it really does just fit it just just fits um, across and uh, in in place uh, between the the toilet uh, roof light and the bedroom roof light is which is where we we're poking our head out um, it, it's uh, fantastic actually to be completely self-sufficient on uh, the electrical front and and to know that um, we don't actually ever have to plug into the electric shoreline again uh, or the electric hookup um, you'll notice that we've got our induction hob out and plugged in that works pretty well I've got my laptop plugged into the three pin socket down that way and I've got my camera battery charger plugged into the 230 volt as well um, Oh, and the Hoover is charging off that as well. So I have tried the um, fridge on electric. So remember, we're not plugged into a shoreline and uh, we would normally run the fridge on gas, as you can see, but we can um, just change that over to electric. And let's take you back to show you what a fridge takes out so remember that we off the solar panels only we're getting six amps in and the battery monitor up there shows you the difference between usage and charge so we're actually using let's show you that bit closer we're actually using uh, let's just get that yeah almost we're actually using almost 12 amps so for every hour the fridge is on electric we'll use 12 amp hours and we've got 180 available so um, especially if you know we we move on or drive somewhere every averagely probably every five days so 12 amp hours you know we're not going to be able to run the fridge all the time on uh, electric but in times when we're you know maybe running out of gas we can switch it on to electric um, for for maybe a day and just keep us going because it won't always be drawing that uh, 11 well that's 18 nearly 20 amps um, because uh, it only does that when it's actually fired up doesn't it because sometimes it'll just switch itself off and uh, you know I'll be doing lots of lots and lots of testing around all of that so that um, you can you can see actually what what happens now um, if we've got fully charged battery um, and it, you know it really is topped up we can run the aircon for uh, probably about an hour and a half 
um, and then just live normally because that that'll that'll pull in constant it'll pull about 50 amps so uh, 50 70 amps will take uh, yeah that's 70 amp hours if you run it for an hour and a half that's 50 amp hours per hour obviously uh, if it's running at 50 amps so uh, we've got a 200 amp hour battery that means we've got 180 uh, amp hours of usable before we get down to where it, it actually shuts off and won't let you use any more but um, you know if we're out during the day and it's really hot bear in mind when it's really hot we will be getting a big push uh, of solar power coming in so <laughs> and but I tested the solar panel at uh, about half past six last night so the sun was fairly low in the sky we were still getting a couple of amps in um, and I and I judged it to be to be pulling about 50 amps so when we're when we're full sun above uh, the van um, we could probably run it there um, because we should we should be getting um, I think it was uh, maybe up to up to 15 amps with direct overhead um, sunlight so you know 15 amp hours off the solar panels we'll take that down to 35 of use uh, because you you take that as 50 take 15 off that gives you 35 of use out of the battery so that's going to give you uh, a lot more uh, time we might be able to run it for a couple of hours uh, during the middle of the day uh, without really um, pulling the battery down too far but I'm going to be really really testing and letting you know uh, how that all works so we're about a week in to living off grid since we had the uh, the lithium battery and the Victron inverter fitted and we've been sat in this uh, in this field since then really so we arrived uh, we arrived here actually where we are on Friday and it's now uh, Tuesday afternoon um, so we've had um, well that's Friday night Saturday night, Sunday night, Monday night, and well, that's so that's four nights um, without any additional charge going into the battery um, with just the solar panel. Oh, the the two solar panels um, helping us to replenish the power that we use. Now, what I will say is for the last two days. We've had, um, you see it's reasonably bright, but you'll be able to see from the clouds up there that it's cloudy. Now, of course, that's, that sort of light is not gonna keep it, keep the lithium battery topped right up. And we are using the power that's in there. Um, bearing in mind that we can drop as low as 20% on on the battery and we're I think it's what time is it now so it's uh, it's almost exactly midday um, we've had better days than this we've had worse days where it's been raining um, and no additional charge put into the battery and we're still on uh, 40 41 percent uh, whereas 40, 41 and a half percent um, now that was down further earlier this morning so we're still getting a reasonable charge in from the battery sorry from the solar panel um, but I just wanted to just show you um, the the final installation so here it is uh, here's the whole installation i'm just going to run through quickly um what we've done to get all this installed and some of you will uh, if you've been watching over time will remember this uh, little fuse box that i put in um ages and ages ago and these extra two um usb points uh that are down in the back here 
so I've got the USB and the 12 volt socket there um, and they were running off of this fuse box and if you can see it right under there maybe you can there's a sort of common earth bar uh, that were already installed um, but I don't want to go into all the details uh, right now but um, what we've got is the 12 volt lithium battery it's a 200 amp hour uh, on there and you might be able to see it's uh, 2560 watt hours so uh, you can use um, two and a half thousand watts for an hour uh, if, if that's what you wanted to do with all that power um, coming from the battery there is that uh, huge um, earth cable coming down to the shunt which runs the battery monitoring system and all the other earth um, leads that are coming off there's a couple of fuses here um, one's running back to the sort of battery charger uh, that's that the sterling power battery charger there and one is running um, back into the inverter charger here so um, what we've got is we've got this inverter charger sitting in between the electric hookup and the battery and the switch and uh, that's that this just automatically works out all the uh, well whether you're on hookup or whether you're on battery power or whether you need both um, there's a couple of uh, what are called battery protect uh, in installed and that's these units here the battery protect is it's just like a, a little automatic switch and I've got another one there that that protects the battery from over and under charging there's another little uh, fuse in there um, and that's about it this is the main on and off switch so if I wanted to kill all the power from the battery completely I just move that switch to off and everything else is switched off right in the back there that little blue light thing there that's the uh, the VE bus um, sorry that's the uh, battery monitoring system so that allows the battery monitoring to uh, be done of course above all of that inside the sergeant sort of control unit cupboard we've got the two solar panel charge controllers and the battery monitoring system uh, with the battery monitoring readout up here that's what we have installed um, of course the uh, we've got the 100 watt solar panel just above the sergeant control unit um, that's the one that came with the van and then we've got the additional 200 watt solar panel at the back uh, above the bedroom area and uh, with well I think without the um, additional charge controller controlling the uh, 100 watt solar panel we wouldn't be getting as much charge into that battery uh, as as we are now I mean even on a sort of fairly dull day like today um, and let me just tell you what we're getting out of each panel because I, I can see it on my phone on the app um, even now the battery readout has gone up to 42 percent so we're still pulling in charge and for each of the bat of the solar panels and we get i get a readout from all the different bits of kit so uh the 200 watt solar panel uh let's just see what that's currently pulling in so it's currently uh it's currently uh running at 50 watts uh at a, at a sort of an open voltage of 33 34 volts and um 
that equates to a 13 13.3 volt ampage of 3.7 so that's what you that's what you get to see on on the panel there um, so that's 3.7 amps coming in from the 200 watt solar panel and from the 100 watt solar panel it should it should be about half of whatever that was yeah so 25 watts uh, of power and that's a 12 volt panel so one's a 24 volt panel and one's a 12 volt panel so um, the 12 volt panel is giving off uh, 17 volts weirdly um, and that's about half of the 34 volts that we were getting off of the 200 panel and again um, 1.7 amps so I think we were getting 3.4 off the other one so sort of directly half if you've got a 100 watt panel and a 200 watt panel you're going to get sort of half out of the 100 and full out of the 200 so uh, 3.4 out of the 200 panel 1.7 so that's going to be 5.2 uh, 5.1 amps coming in so about 5 amps coming in um, and I think if I can go back and look at uh, the smart because I get to see you know, the little round um, thing in there the uh, readout yeah so we we're actually using so I'm getting five amps in and the current I'm currently pushing through to the battery is just well it's 1.8 amps so we're using I think we're charging up quite a bit of kit so we're using about three amps well um, the inverter on its own takes about one to one and a half amps um, when it's when it's on and it is on all the time so um, you know, if you were getting one and a half amps in on solar and you're a bit low on battery you could switch the inverter off to give that a little bit of a boost but there we are so I think we're you know we're doing all right we've you know we've had four days of variable weather and we've lasted pretty well we are um i would i would say voracious users of electricity we always you know we've got a laptop a 13 inch laptop a 12 inch ipad uh two iphones a, a 10 inch ipad uh to charge up so there's sort of five devices then i've got the um the camera batteries these these little camera batteries i'm not sure i can see what the what the draw on those is hmm. no uh, probably say on the charger wouldn't it yeah so yeah they're they're just short of a no about a quarter of an amp uh in 230 volt and uh, um, about well about three quarters of an amp on uh, eight volts because they're, they're actually eight volt batteries <laughs> weirdly well, the charger is eight volt but there we are um, and we've got you know various bits and pieces on and going and it's uh, it's a real it's a real learning curve as we go on to to find out how much we can use how much uh how much sunshine we need i haven't needed to start the engine because that sterling um battery to battery charger um puts just on tick over it puts about 30 amps back into the battery so um if i left it running uh for half an hour um I'd get about 15 16 amps 16 amp uh 16 amp hours back into the battery and uh you know, if we were really low half an hour on on tick over would give us an evening and and uh, right through the night worth of electricity 
that's 16 amp hours so um yeah i think we're doing all right anyway i'm going to be doing more in-depth um reviews of all of this all of the kit um and what we use and sort of you know going through the real nitty gritty of what we've got why we went that route and why we've got it and how it's working um overall i'm pretty pleased 